All right, this one's gonna come straight from the heart today. At 31 years old, I really have no desire to be in a committed relationship. Not as much as everyone else, at least. And just to be clear, this video is not coming from a place of like rejection and fear. This isn't some dark, depressing thing. I'm not saying that relationships are bad. I'm not saying people shouldn't be in them. I'm just sharing some of my thoughts and feelings as of right now. I just honestly do not really care about dating and relationships anymore. Like, I'm just genuinely not that interested. <laughs> Same way when a child is playing with a toy and then it loses interest in it, they'll just like put it down and go do something else. It's kind of like that. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> and I'm not even saying that I'm 100% opposed to being in a relationship. Like, I probably would be open to it if it kind of naturally flowed into the right thing. Because I do think that being with the right person can be uh, an, a beautiful thing. I do. And I think that a lot of our dark aspects of our personality and a lot of our trauma comes up in romantic relationships so sometimes they are a really good opportunity for us to heal and they're very beneficial for our own growth and development and also you're gonna have to go through a number of different relationships to figure out what kind of partner you want to be to figure out what kind of partner you want I mean it's they're unavoidable like relationships are very important with that being said this whole dating process just doesn't seem worth it to me like the amount of time and energy you have to put into that shit the amount of rejection you have to take the amount of times you have to reject other people which by the way i hate rejecting somebody else almost just as much as i hate getting rejected myself and i don't know i can't help but sit and wonder like why do i have to go through all that i'm fine on my own i'm happy and this is just how i'm feeling right now my thoughts and feelings on this do kind of change somewhat frequently but i'm just sharing with you guys where i'm at as of this present moment and there probably is some pain and fear in here somewhere telling me to just avoid them because it's a lot easier i'm not even going to deny that one realization i've had about relationships recently is that we chase and chase until we get one we might pour all of this time and our energy into like dating different people jumping through all these hoops and we finally get the right partner we get into a relationship with them and we're so excited then as time goes on it kind of starts to wear off that excited feeling it kind of diminishes right and it just the relationship kind of just becomes the new normal and both people get comfortable with each other and how many people do you know who have been together for a few years who are still like thrilled to see each other every day and it makes me think our relationship's just another one of those things that the ego loves to chase because it seems like it's going to be so great and we have this amazing fantasy in our mind but then like a lot of things when we actually get it is it kind of just like eh, now i want something else you know because even in relationships it's like how often do people really truly spend time enjoying each other's company and really like embracing each other's presence i mean maybe a little bit in the beginning but i feel like most people in relationships they're just so focused on like some goal or milestone like when are we going to get engaged then when's the wedding going to be when are we going to buy the house when are we going to have the kids like there always has to be something else there always has to be something we're trying to get to how often do people just really spend time getting to know each other and really learn how to like communicate effectively really learn how to love each other you know truthfully i think many people are just sick of being alone you see you're not actually seeking a relationship you're seeking an alleviation to your loneliness and I'm not saying this is always the case. There are a lot of couples who truly love each other, but I do think for most people, loneliness plays a huge factor in this. There's this void that they're looking to fill. And I can tell you one thing for certain, if you're looking to get into a relationship because you feel incomplete or because you feel like something's missing, you are a thousand percent setting yourself up for failure. There were many times looking back where I felt like I needed a relationship. I felt like I needed somebody else to complete me. And a lot of us feel this way because we don't truly love ourselves. We don't just love being who we are. And I also think society is always preaching this narrative of how important it is to get married and to have kids to have a family it almost makes us feel incomplete if we don't have this or if we're not working towards getting it but the truth is i've just gotten so comfortable being with myself you know understanding who i am and at this point anybody that did come into my life in that regard would be competing with my peace because before i didn't truly value myself i didn't value my time spent alone being alone is scary for a lot of people because you have to actually sit with your emotions and your thoughts and many of us can't do this but the truth is there's no escaping that shit no matter how many people you have around you again i've met a lot of beautiful couples who truly compliment each other they're both very uh you know personally developed and what i'm saying here probably doesn't apply to them but if i'm being real in my opinion and my experience most people in relationships are not genuinely happy because they didn't figure out how to find happiness while they were alone they were unhappy and insecure and they were hoping a partner can fix that and now they're still unhappy and insecure but just in a relationship one of the main reasons i love being single is the freedom and i don't necessarily mean the freedom to just like date or sleep with whoever i want but like i don't have to answer to anybody i don't have to explain myself i don't have to compromise on decisions i don't have to deal with jealousy jealousy or drama arguing or any of that i can just go at my own pace my own speed the reason i enjoy my own company so much is because i stay very busy doing the things that i love i mean i never get bored ever and you do this by learning to love the simplicity of life an exciting night for me nowadays is literally sitting inside with a cup of tea watching a film i mean that's like a perfect night to me i sort of just learned to let go of needing anything more than the simple things i don't have to go to like big social gatherings or big events or any of that i used to live in new york city and i would go to stuff like that all the time and to be honest i hated it i just didn't know how to be honest with myself i've learned to really embrace the peaceful moments i have 
have with myself. Mindfulness meditation really helped a lot with this, by the way. Relationships are a lot of work and they require a lot of effort and energy. You have to put energy into building a sustainable, healthy relationship. It's not gonna just happen on its own. And not to mention all the difficulties that come with it, all of the other people that get involved, like the, the, your partner's family members, the friends, you have all these external influences. Me personally, I just don't really wanna deal with any of that. I would prefer to put this energy into my business, my passions, my friendships. And the other thing is too, I'm not one of those guys who's obsessed with like carrying on my lineage and my bloodline. Like I really don't care about that to be honest with you. I'm not saying I don't ever wanna have kids, but as of right now at 31, I don't really have much of a desire for family life. Like, I don't know, nothing about it really appeals to me. I'm sure that probably may change at some point. If anything, I'll probably just end up settling down for a woman who's also kind of on the same page as me, doesn't really want the whole conventional marriage and family lifestyle. I mean, if that opportunity came up, I would definitely probably consider it. But I'm definitely not gonna sit here and get all depressed about the fact that I'm single and do all these ridiculous things to try to find somebody, like spend hours scrolling on dating apps or join some class just to go meet women. I mean, some of this stuff, it just seems ridiculous to me. Or the worst is the amount of time we spend watching content on dating and relationships. All the energy that we put into like trying to figure figure out the opposite sex and how to attract them. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I think that's totally normal for our male biology, definitely. But imagine if you just didn't care about that at all. Like, how freeing would that be? Some people's happiness is just so dependent on whether or not they have a partner. And my advice is, and this is what I do, if you wanna truly master the dating world, just completely let go of it. That's honestly the best way to do it. Because the more detached you are from something, the more success you'll have with it. The more you care, the more obsessed you get about finding a wife to start a family, you're gonna put so much pressure on yourself. And I mean, I understand for women, because they're kind of on a tight schedule but like if you're a guy watching this just just let it go especially if you're the type of guy who gets attached way too quickly and over invests right from the beginning and this definitely shouldn't give you permission to just never talk to women and never approach them not at all that's not what i'm saying i still approach but even that i'm not doing it with the intention of like finding a girlfriend i do it because it's a little scary it's fun it helps me step outside of my comfort zone it's actually one of my favorite personal development things to do but like just let go of trying to find a girlfriend and just practice socializing practice building your social skills just strictly practice talking to people in general that's the best advice i can give you that's what i wish i did at a much younger age once you really hone your social skills dating becomes so much easier there is so much growth tied into learning to master the skill of communicating and talking to people especially people in situations who make you nervous all right guys those are my thoughts on this for the day i'm definitely going to be posting more content on this in the future let me know what you think thank you